and there is so much to tell. Where should I even start? With all that we saw, what we heard, what we felt, this planet of ours, destiny, our part in it. Best to start at the beginning, perhaps. Midgar, the city of Mako, ruled by the Shinra Electric Power Company, who drained the planet of its very essence, the life stream, and processed it for industry as Mako. Our world was dying, and so few could hear her cries for mercy. Those who could rose up in her defense. The anti-Shinra rebels, Avalanche. Among them, Cloud Strife, an ex-soldier hired by the Resistance to destroy Reactor One. In Sector Eight, amidst the aftermath of the attack, Cloud met a flower seller named Aerith. She offered him a yellow blossom. One said to symbolize reunion. And thus was destiny set in motion. With Reactor 1 gone, Avalanche set their sights on Mako Reactor 5. Unfortunately, they were playing right into Shinra's hands. The company was able to draw the wool over the people's eyes. And in the end, destroyed Sector 7, killing thousands and laying the blame at Avalanche's feet. Though dear friends were lost, Avalanche had no time to grieve. Aerith had struck a deal with Shinra, who took her into custody. With her capture, Shinra's obsession was within reach. The fabled Promised Land. For Aerith was the last of the Setra, the ancient stewards of the planet. And only she could guide them to paradise. To save her, the team infiltrated the Shinra building, the company's beating heart. It was here that I, another prisoner, joined their story and assisted them in freeing Aerith. Yet during our flight, we came face to face with a man thought dead. The vaunted war hero, Sephiroth. Before he could be stopped, Cloud's foe fled with the corpse of Genova, the cataclysm from the stars and the catalyst of our plight. Eventually, we too made good our escape. Pursuing troopers defeated, we raced toward Midgar's edge. Yet Sephiroth once again intervened. Suddenly, deafening screams rent the air. Whispers, the arbiters of fate, descended upon the city. Before their imposing wall, Aerith warned us. This was destiny's crossroads. Every moment, every action, every step taken, had all been as the Whispers willed it. To fight them was to break free. On the other side of fate, Sephiroth waited, the Whispers undulating within him. Cloud brought his blade down upon his rival, sundering destiny. But the fight won, and the shackles of destiny broken. We stood before the unknown, a world of boundless freedom. It was there, beyond where fate could follow, that a new journey began.
as we've got the time, want to tell the rest of us about you and your buddy Sephiroth? Sure. If Tifa doesn't mind. Me? Yeah, no problem. It's... It all started five years ago. I was 16 at the time. There was hardly any work for soldiers back then. And the little there was, it was boring as hell. My heart wasn't in it. Then, out of nowhere, the job of a lifetime came. A mission was separate. <laughs> I couldn't believe my luck. Coming down, huh? Hey, man. Feeling any better? I'm good. Sure don't look it. Wish I could help, but never been motion sick. Sorry, man. Ready to do this? Yeah, you bet. another one of those Turks gigs, you can let me off right here. Really? Finally make first, and what do they do? Call a ceasefire with Utah, stealing my shot at glory. I didn't join Soldier to be an errand boy. I joined up so I could be a hero, like you. <laughs> well, our mission is to survey a rundown reactor. Another one of those Turks gigs. Job's a job, I guess. Where is it? Nibelheim. Nibelheim? That's where I grew up. Got some fiends in our 12! Let's go. was in a different league from the rest of us. Nibelheim. That's where they built the first reactor. Right? Yeah. It all started in the fall. Something was wrong with the reactor, and the whole village was up in arms. Talk of strange new monsters on the mountain, only made things worse. People were scared, desperate. The villagers tried to take care of the monsters themselves, but it was no good. Ended up calling Shinra. So the company sent help. Best they had. Oh, 
sweet home, right? Tell me, how does it feel? I have no home, so I wouldn't know. Uh, you still got parents though, right? A mother named Genova. She died shortly after I was born. My father. Oh there! Genova? Like from the Shinra building? Yeah. Don't worry, I'm getting to that. I didn't keep you waiting. I'm Xander, the mayor here. I wanted to greet you myself, to uh, welcome you to our humble little town. Please, if you'll follow me. Consider yourself off duty till sundown. Shard Sangan, a humble traveler of the world, and teacher of martial arts to the youth. Hmm. Hmm. Well toned, but lacking mass. You need to bulk up. Who asked you? You could learn a lot from me. Pass. Don't be shy. I have many pupils your age. At last count, 128. In fact, one of them's from this very village. Perhaps you know her. Tifa. Sure. A real talent, that one. She'll go far. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right? Got anything to say for yourself? I didn't know. Goodness! Is that 
So, how did it feel being back up there? I don't know. Nostalgic, I guess? After two years away, and all that. Uh-huh. Sure it does. I know I want to hear what happened. Me too. Yeah. Go on. My dad died when I was a kid. So after I left for Midgar, she was on her own. It was the first time we'd seen each other in two years. First time. And last. Hmm? I'll be right there! <gasps> Cloud, is that you? Hey. Welcome home! Come in. Let me get a good look at you. My, my! So that's what they've got you wearing, huh? You soldiers sure do clean up nice. I've never been so proud. The man you've become? Women must be hounding you day and night. Not really. You know, there's all kinds of temptations in the big city. I'd feel a lot better if I knew you'd found a good girl. One who'd make sure you didn't get into trouble. I can take care of myself. An older, more mature girl that could keep you on the straight and narrow and tell you when you're being a silly goose. That's the perfect type for you, I'd say. They are feeding you properly, aren't they? Oh, Cloud. But you know, Cloud. Wouldn't you agree, Cloud? You're my son. Of course, I'll always be... Okay, that's enough. Huh? You went to my place? I figured you might be there. Wait a second. You two were neighbors? We were, but it's not like we hung out that much. We had our reasons. <laughs> our reasons, huh? <laughs> that most of them had to do with you.
Remember my cat? Her name was... Fluffy, I think? Yeah. She was always disappearing, and that day was no different. You went into my room? I did. You went through my stuff? I know I shouldn't have. Cloud! You asshole! Did you actually play it?
Where'd you learn to do that? Hey, you gotta play for us sometime. Well, shit. You're a merc of many talents. at the time, but looking back, all the signs were there. From the moment we arrived, Sephiroth just wasn't himself. What you looking at? This landscape. Huh? I could swear I've seen it before. You okay? Big day tomorrow. We'll be leaving bright and early. You should get some rest. All right, we'll do. Night. I tried, but I couldn't get to sleep that night. Was too excited, too nervous. Was pretty much the same for me. Why? <laughs> yeah, I was surprised too. You know what happened the last time she went up there. That was years ago, Brian. She's old enough to make her own decisions now. <laughs> we leave once our guide arrives. Yes, sir. Uh, Brian! Sephiroth, sir. <sighs> I must insist that I take you up the mountain. My daughter is... Dad! Tifa. You can still back out. You don't have to do this. I'm going, and that's that. There'll be two soldiers with me. I'll be fine. Pumpkin. Good morning, sir. I'll be your guide for the day. Tifa? You're our guide? I sure am. You can ask anyone around here. I'm the best there is. You could get hurt. Not if you remember to do your job, she won't. Come on. For a posterity, sir? Not today. Can you talk to him? Please, Sephiroth. It means a lot to us. It's just one photo. Come on. Where's the harm in that? There? Thanks. Say cheese! Sounds like you were having a good time. One more! Yeah, I guess we were. Later. For a while. The reactor was halfway up Mount Nebel. I was looking forward to breathing that crisp, clean mountain air again.
already know this, but our reactor's the first of its kind. It really put Mount Nebel on the map. Reactors in my time. But none with such a breathtaking view. Who could tire of it? Everyone, eventually. Man, I wish I could go on trips all over the world like you guys. <laughs> trips? I think you mean business trips, which are no fun at all. Though you do learn stuff on them. That's so cool. ourselves is all but i thought you guys were in a hurry even so you'll burn yourself out running like that i'm not even close to burned out not with all the training i've had huh. guess you really are the best there is near the village and they're not nice what do you think I think I got this then they're all yours copy that This is how it's going to be. There doesn't seem much point in me fighting. I guess not. You leave it all to me, huh? Don't mind if I do.
bronze soldier? You can do better than that, can't you? Just you watch. Pretty good. Shall we pick up the pace? Not unless we absolutely have to. Our guide might not be so lucky next time. Then, how about I go on ahead and clear the way for you guys? I'll be careful. <laughs> you better. Cool. See you at the reactor.
piece of cake. felt pretty good. a while ago. Come on back, okay? Okay. Otherwise, you'd have led us straight off a cliff. Lead on. Yes!
Piece of cake. 